Hey guys, Chris here. Um, on this video, I want to show you how to uh, basically export pictures or video from your iPad or your iPhone onto your Mac. Um, there's a, two ways that I do it. Um, the first way I'm going to show you is probably the best way because what I like to do when I pull off pictures from my phone or an iPad, um, I don't put them necessarily on my computer. I back them up onto an external hard drive, which you'll see up here. Um, an external hard drive is a, a hard drive that you can actually remove from your computer. It plugs in via USB. Um, and basically that allows me to uh, plug it into different computers. But more ultimately, <coughs> or more importantly, is I keep uh, an external hard drive in a safe. And all our photos are backed up on that in case of a fire or something. If a hard drive is, if you have your pictures on your actual computer and the computer catches on fire from whatever, heaven forbid, then you're going to lose all those pictures because the hard drive is going to fry up, possibly. So um, <clears throat> I would recommend you go buy an external hard drive. Um, you can get them at Best Buy for like 70 60 bucks, probably cheaper than that for a ton of storage. Hold all the pictures you need to. So just a fun little uh, piece of advice. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull these pictures that we have on our iPad off of our computer using an application called Image Capture. So if you go into Applications, scroll down, you will see Image Capture right here. We're going to open that puppy up, and you'll see this awesome picture I took, uh, looking handsome as ever. Uh, your devices pop up. I'm not sure why the printer is in there, but it is. I guess if you have things that you can store on a printer, cool. Um, or it's just because that's a device plugged in via USB. But uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So we got our iPad. If you had your iPhone plugged into it, it would say iPhone or iPod Touch, whatever. So. Um, so here's a picture we want to import onto our computer or, like I said, an external hard drive. So what you're going to first do is decide where you want it to go. It's got some preset folders, you know, your pictures, desktop, things like that. Say if you want to save it to your desktop, just at the end of that, do that. Click on here, hit import, and voila, there it is, looking beautiful. If you're like my sister, she likes to fill up her entire desktop with pictures and documents, and it drives me nuts because it's all over the place. I'm kind of a, a freak about it, and I like to have it totally cleaned up. But uh, So if you want to put it just to your desktop, that's all you have to do. But let's say you want to put it on an external hard drive. Um, so what you're going to do is you come here, and you'll see you won't see an external hard drive anywhere in here. Um, but there is this other option, and that's going to let you choose any other location you would like. Um, Here's all your normal folders, but you look at devices and you see big black. That's my external hard drive. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to put it in here, but I want to make a new folder. I like to keep my pictures somewhat organized. So let's just call this one Goofy Picture. And that's where we're going to save it. So we're going to create a new folder, and you'll see Goofy Pictures here. There's nothing in it right now. We're going to choose that folder. Now say I wanted it on Hunter Family 06. I could choose that or Happy Juice, whatever. So Goofy Picture is the folder we're going to save these pictures to. Choose. Now simply click Import. And we're going to go on here and let's verify that they are there. Goofy Pick. There it is. Um, so one thing I always make sure that anybody, I tell them when they want to remove pictures from their phone or iPad is to always, before you delete anything off your phone or iPad, make sure it is saved somewhere else. So... Um, like we just did, we want to make sure that, okay, here's the folder we were saving it to. Are they there? We can confirm. Now it's safe to delete this this picture here. Um, and it's always good to back up pictures. Um, one, because it frees up your phone from space, especially with those monster Apple updates. They like to request like a lot of uh, storage. But also one time I was updating my phone uh, from one of those updates, and my phone got like stuck in a... Uh, like restarting limbo and the only way to do it like to fix it was to restore it back to the default settings and I lost everything it sucked so now I very much emphasize to save your pictures uh, somewhere as much as possible so that's how you do it through image capture again um, it's very easy once you plug it in it's going to automatically pick it up show all the pictures that are on your phone you can select all of them just by clicking them or uh, certain ones however you want to do it and then you just choose where you want to save them. Again, you can save them onto your computer. That's totally cool if that's what you want to do. But I do recommend buying an external hard drive uh, just and keeping it somewhere safe just in case that something happens. You don't want to lose your pictures. Um, just believe me, you don't, you don't want to do that. So that's that way to do it. There's also iPhoto. Um, iPhoto is cool, but I just prefer not to use it as much because I like to 
back up my, my pictures on that external hard drive. But if you do want to use iPhoto, that's that's cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to open iPhoto here, um, and it may take a minute to load because there's probably tons of pictures in there previously. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Um, but um, there we go. Okay, so automatically it's going to pull up what um, device you have plugged in. You see the iPad here, um, and here's my picture. If there's like 70 photos on here it would show all those photos and then you can select which ones you want to select or you can just import it'll say all photos and you can just import all of them um, whatever you want to do so you can name a folder essentially of what this is going to be saved under so let's just call this one goofy photo too um, so we're going to select that guy import the selected one like i said if you had like 70 photos it would say import 70 photos here and you could just click that but let's just open there import that one it'll import it <clears throat> and now it's going to ask you if you want to delete your photo on your iPad or keep it. Um, iPhoto is a little better where if it brings you this message, that means it imported correctly. So you can go ahead and delete it or you can keep the photo and just verify. But um, again, I don't know, you can go ahead and just delete the photo. So now let's go into our events. Um, let's just search because it's probably going to take a minute to find all those. So let's just search for Goofy. There it is, and there's our sweet uh, picture. So, um, again, the thing I'm not a big fan of with uh, with iPhoto is that, like, if I want to put it in a new folder, um, let's get that back here, last import. Let's say I wanted to have it on my desktop. You can click and drag it to there, and that's cool. Now it's there, you know, but... It's just an extra step, and I just kind of prefer to do it from the. Uh, go ahead and just delete that out here. Um, prefer to do it for, through image capture, just because I like to put it on an ex external hard drive. So um, that's how you pull photos from your iPhone or your iPad. Pretty straightforward. Apple makes it pretty easy, but again, I recommend using image capture over iPhoto unless you want to kind of fiddle around with all the stuff in iPhoto. Which again, totally cool. Um, your call, but uh, ultimately, I recommend you uh, go and create a folder, get an external hard drive, and create a folder for all your pictures so that way you can store it somewhere safe. Um, just in case, heaven forbid, something bad happens and you lose uh, your computer, at least you have those photos backed up. So, hope this helps. If you have any questions at all or need clarification, uh, leave a comment. I check it normally pretty much every day. And if you enjoyed this video, if it helped, please subscribe uh, and share the video with your friends. Maybe they need help with this as well. But again, I hope this helped and I appreciate you watching.